So guys, I'm going to be honest. I do not feel good right now. I honestly feel upset because I found out this news on Instagram about Shane Dawson. I think that's how you pronounce his shit or whatever. But look, so it was this thing about Trayvon Martin and I guess that was playing a game or whatever. I don't know what was the game or shit, something. And so this is, okay, I'm gonna just show y'all the video. Jesus, Nikki, I'm trying to make a video that families can watch. I can't do it about Jesus. Oh, God. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Trayvon Martin. Well, maybe you wouldn't been walking this around the streets if you had a job. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's a game! It's oh. So, look, now that you've seen the video, you should know where I'm coming from, okay? So, dude said, uh, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Dude said, if he hasn't been in the streets doing whatever, ever, being unemployed, that wouldn't have happened to him. Now, there's actually a a video on this that like news did on this, and it actually tells us what happened. So there's like a big difference what Shane Dawson said and what the news said. Shane Dawson made it seem like he was like a bad kid or whatever or like or like just I don't I don't know how to explain it but he basically said that is it's his fault his fault for being out in the streets and doing whatever and not having a job that he got killed but this is what the news has to say about it now to the Trayvon Martin case, the newly released video and eyewitness reports about the struggle in the moments before that gunshot rang out. ABC's Matt Gutman has been analyzing this new evidence all day. A first look at how that fateful night began for Trayvon Martin, buying Skittles and iced tea at the 7-Eleven. And tonight, police recordings where, for the first time, we hear eyewitnesses describe Zimmerman's behavior in the seconds after the shooting. The guy had his hands in the air saying, the gun's on the ground, I shot this guy in self-defense. To another witness, Zimmerman seemed dazed. Looked like he just got his, his butt whooped. Not shot, but like just getting up, just basically getting up from a fight. Zimmerman then spoke to that witness who characterized him as oddly matter-of-fact. Not like he was um, in shock or anything, not like, I can't believe I just shot someone. It was more like, just tell my wife I shot somebody, like, like it was nothing. The prosecution has hours of recordings like these, hundreds of pages of documents, but lost to history, the 80 seconds after Zimmerman told the 911 operator he was following Martin. Are you following him? Yeah. Okay, we don't need you to do that and the first calls from neighbors reporting a fight. A guy yelling help. Oh my God. Hurry up, they're right outside my house. From what I've heard, there is no eyewitness to it. There's no videotape of it. Uh, there may be some audio inferences that we'll see. And that hits at the heart of this case. It could all hinge on what happened in those missing 80 seconds. We don't know for certain who approached who. We don't know for certain who provoked it. Now, Sanford police, Diane, continue to insist that it was Zimmerman who started the fight that night, and that's what the prosecution is going to have to prove in order to win a conviction. How do y'all feel about something like that? So look, that was like, I find that kind of disrespectful. I couldn't even focus on my game. I had a headache. I was like, like, I, bruh, when I was watching that, it gave me a headache where, like, I didn't even want to play the game anymore. Like, I wanted to just sit down and just think. And it just makes me mad. Like, I don't know. I, like, I don't know if Shane Dawson even noticed what he even did or what he even said. But you see what he said. Um, I hope you get a clear picture. Uh Shane Dawson fans, y'all see what y'all, what y'all watching, 
what y'all y'all probably missed it. I don't know. Y'all probably all like the um late late you know late viewers or whatever. But that's what he has to say about Trayvon Martin. Yeah, that will be it for this video. I just wanted to share that with y'all. Peace.